today. We're in full pads. Um, felt like we got a lot accomplished um, and uh, had good one versus ones. Um, some good, not full speed live, but thud. Um, and uh, that was good. But, but it went well. When you get that full speed live, is that kind of a bonus at this time of the year? Yeah, it is. And we got to do that. that to keep the speed of the game going. So we're doing a lot of ones versus ones. Um, you know, pass scale, team two minute, all those type of things to keep the speed of the game going. Um, I thought they competed well on that. And then we've, every day we've been keeping the uh, younger guys out. Um, we, we do that every Wednesday during the season anyway. Um, keep those guys out and practice with them. And then this week I do it every day. Um, is, that so little, is that a little more important with the, with the new redshirt rules that those are some guys that get? Yeah, it is. It is a little bit more important there. And then also just getting them, um, you know, all the coaches coaching with them. Because a lot of them play in show team and now getting them over coaching them, seeing them work at it, push them, um, and uh, we've got some good young players we're excited about. But those guys that are most likely going to redshirt, have they had a different disposition or focus, or is that kind of overstated with this new rule? Um, no, we're kind of getting everybody ready because anybody could be pulled up at any time, um, so uh, that's why a lot of these practices are important too. Uh, they sit in on a lot of all our meetings and do all that type of thing, but um, you know, you kind of, for the most part, you kind of figure out what you're going to do at this point. But there's always injuries that happen um, and that would change different things, especially in the special teams area as we do. You mean like having a former manager become your hold along? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. What's the biggest thing you hope to accomplish during the bye week? Well, every, every person, every player has a specific goal he wants to accomplish that he wrote down. Um, every uh, position group has a specific goal they want to accomplish. And then each side of the ball has a specific goal they want to accomplish. And then throughout, and then on special teams, each unit has something that we have to work on. Um, so they, we've watched our film from other games. We've shown them the corrections we need to make. We need to show them how we're being attacked in certain areas and trying to make sure we sure that up because everything, everybody copies everybody else at times. And so we need to make sure we have that fixed. And that's part of, that's part of coaching um, and letting the kids understand that too. How would you assess the play of your corners so far? I think they've uh, played hard. Um, I think they've done some good things. We've been rotating guys in and out. Um, uh, for the most part, they've played well enough for us to all win all three football games. Um, and so I've, I've been pleased with that. We've got to keep stepping it up a notch. We're going to play some excellent receivers and some excellent passing quarterbacks down the road here. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're going to have to play better than we are at this time. But our entire team's going to have to do that. So, uh, But I've been pleased with their competition and their, and their ability to battle for the ball and, and do that. How much does that help you that Chris Miller is now kind of back to speed? It helps us a lot speed. that Chris Miller's back. Um, number one, he's a really good player. Number two, it creates great competition. He also helps us on special teams with his speed and athleticism, so it helps our entire football team. Wish he wouldn't have hurt his hamstring early in camp, but uh, this is this is a big week too. He's been doing really well, and he, and he, he played well um, in the game uh, Saturday, I thought. Um, so this week, and you should see him playing a lot this year along with our other corners. and gives us enough because, you know, receivers, what I've talked to the guys about too, is receivers, when they're playing fast, they run receivers on and off and they're fresh guys. If we can substitute some corners in that are fresher, that are, can handle it, then we're, we're up with that speed, and that's important. Um, and these guys understand that, and uh, they're working hard at it. Jalen Jackson close to being back? Yeah, he um, he's practiced the last two days um, and has looked good. Um, and hopefully no setbacks um, with that. But uh, um, I've been pleased with Jalen yesterday and today. And uh, uh, see how he does again tomorrow. You guys are pretty deep at receiver, but could he be a special teams? Guy? Yeah, he can play receiver too. He can play special teams. There's no doubt. He was having a really good fall camp, um, and uh, you know he's a guy that we um, definitely think can play in the Pac-12 and make plays. So we'll just see. What, you know, the way football is, people are going to get dinged up. You're going to have an ankle. You're going to have this. We got a lot of games left, and so I, he'll he'll be able to ready to play. And, we won't have a drop off when Jalen steps on the field. He, he's a really good player. Had a chance to look at UCLA yet? Yeah, oh yes, we've watched UCLA a lot, um, and our staff has. And you know they don't have another game, so you kind of have what they're going to do. I'm definitely they'll they'll change some things up for the game. Um, they'll take things that have hurt us and use it. Uh, so uh, you know, uh, Coach Kelly, they're 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 you know they're 0 and 3, but they're the and everybody says it, they're the best 0 and 3 team I've seen. They're athletic. They make plays. They've got uh, uh, you know big receivers, a tight end that's phenomenal down the middle, um, and their their quarterbacks are at, can throw it and are athletic. I believe three's going to be coming back from what I'm hearing. You know he beat us when he was at Michigan. So I mean they're, they've they've got some really good players and 
you know, it's hard coming in as a, as a new coach and he's getting all his system in and, and, and a week off and the things they can add and learn from, they'll be a much better football team than they have been when they play us. Just because of three games under your belt, you get, look at everything, coach them up, and uh, it's going to, they're, you know, they're definitely the most athletic team we've played this year so far. Um, and uh, um, I've been impressed with their athleticism. Do you think the situation with Dorian Thompson Robinson's father, you know, complaining affects them a little bit, or do you have any experience yeah, with that type of thing? No, I don't know. Anything. I don't want to comment. But I don't know anything. I heard somebody told me about it. That's all I know. Okay. Um, that's the the world of Twitter you live in today. All right. Thanks, Thanks Mike. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Appreciate.